let's say you're into technical writing, you currently write on maybe your blog or you write for free on other publications like Medium, Hashnode and Devto and now you're looking for how you can get online jobs as a technical writer. That is the purpose of this video. In this video, I'll be sharing three steps on how to get online jobs as a technical writer. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dillion and on my space I share my experiences in my technical career and also in my life. Like I said in this video, I'm going to be sharing three steps on how to get online jobs as a technical writer. First, we need to understand that technical writing has different forms, kinds or you can say types. There's technical writing that is focused on case studies, technical writing that is focused on tutorials, short how-to guides, technical theories, technical proposals. There's also technical writing that's focused on documentation. This could be for APIs or for libraries. There are different ways that technical writing can exist. Different companies can be looking for different types of writers. So when you're about applying for jobs, you should first understand what a company, a company here can either be a full organization or an individual contractor. So you first want to understand what they are looking for and what you have to offer. There are technical writers who focus more on documentation. Me, for example, I focus on tutorials, short how-to guides. Currently, I am not into documentation. So you need to understand the kind of writer that you are, as this would also help you understand the kind of people or the kind of companies that you would be writing for. The second step is to have a solid portfolio. This is very, very important. If you want to apply to a contractor or to an organization, you need to show them some sort of proof, some sort of evidence of your previous works. And this is where the relevance of a solid portfolio comes in. And this does not have to be on your personal blog, which is on your name.com as a domain. It can be on any platform, literally. It can be on Hashnode, it can be on DevTool, it can even be on a website built with WordPress. It can be anywhere. But then this is important to have so that you can reference it while you are applying to any organization that you want to apply to. So that they can see your previous work, they can be able to evaluate your skills, the type of of writer that you are, type of audience that you write for because some organizations focus more on seniors, some organizations focus on juniors, some organizations focus on the middle developers. With your portfolio, they can assess all of these things and they can know if you are a good fit and it will also help you know if you are a great fit for the company that you are applying to. The third step is actually applying for the job. So what kind of jobs can you apply to as a technical writer? As a technical writer, you can apply for two kinds of jobs. The first one is applying as a freelance writer and the second one is applying as a full-time technical writer for a company. Let's start from the freelance writer. As a freelance writer, you have more of a short-term contract with an individual or with an organization. Where can you find such freelance jobs? Now, if you are somebody that uses platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, and a couple of these freelance platforms, you can easily search for technical writing roles there and maybe you would find organizations and contractors. Personally, I don't have experience with all those platforms, especially in regards to technical writing. But apart from these platforms, you can also apply as guest authors for some publications. And there are numerous publications out there which accept guest authors, writers that freelance write for these organizations. It's not a full-time contract. The contract can be terminated at any point depending on the details of the contract. But yeah, you are basically a guest. You are not an employee of the company, but you are like a guest. So you can either apply as guest authors to these companies or you can also consider some companies that hire ghost writers. Ghost writers is also a form of freelance writing. The difference is that you do not get any credits. The writing is not tied to your name. You do not have any ownership of the articles that you write. So you write the article, they pay you for the article and the article is theirs and they can use it for whatever they want. What are examples of platforms that you can apply as a guest author? I have 
have a list here which I'm going to leave in the video description. You can check that out. The first one is Log Rocket. The second one is Content Lab, although for Content Lab it's more of ghost writing. The third one is Socials, CSS Tricks, Draft.dev, Tutorials Points, Twilio, Hasura, Image Kit, Sanity, Smashing Magazine, Test Driven, Strapi, Vonage, Section IO, and there is so much more which you can find online. This is a non exhaustive list. In the video description of this video, I'm going to leave these platforms as well as the write for us page so these publications they usually have a write for us page that shows the instructions or the information that you need when applying to them some of those publications would ask that you share your top three articles with them or your best four articles with them some of these publications may even require you to pitch an article you'd like to write for them as a start you can check out these instructions check the responsibilities see if it matches your skills and what you're looking for and you can apply apart from applying as a freelancer like i said earlier you can also apply for full-time technical writing roles and this is similar to how you would apply for any other full-time technical job you find the job you check the job requirements you check the job responsibilities you make your research about the company then you structure your resume to fit the job that you are applying for in your resume you are going to highlight your professional experience this could be personal experience on your blog or experience you may have working as a freelancer or as a ghostwriter whichever you're also going to highlight your skills you're going to highlight the type of articles you write the type of audience that you write for you're going to put all those details in your resume while applying some companies may also require a cover letter so you're also going to structure a cover letter put the necessary information there your professional experience what you like about the company why you'd love to write for the company the skills that you have that makes you believe you are a good fit you're going to put all those details there Currently, I don't know any full-time technical writing role that I can share in this video. But you can check platforms like Stack Overflow Jobs, LinkedIn Jobs, Startup Dub Jobs. You can check all these platforms and search for technical writing roles. So there you go. Those are three steps on how to get online jobs as a technical writer. And these steps does not guarantee that you're going to get writing opportunities with all of these publications, either as a guest author, as a ghost writer, or whatever, because these publications have their criteria, they have their requirements. Some of them may even need a certain number of years of experience and things like that but i'm still going to place emphasis on having a portfolio a solid portfolio that shows how much skills you have recruiters or contractors are not just looking for word of mouth where you come and say i'm a good writer they actually want to see that you are a good writer so you can share this portfolio with them share the links to the best articles the articles that you feel you did your best that you feel are comprehensive that you feel meets or matches the requirements of the job that you're applying for and i really hope by applying these steps you are able to secure one two or even many technical writing jobs if you enjoyed this video please give it a like also subscribe for more content and see you in my next video peace